So today I got a booster box for my birthday. I'm pretty excited to open this. So let's get it go. This way. So it won't be a long video because I open packs pretty quick. So let's see what we get. So this is my first opening box video. I might be a little bit nervous, so I hope you guys don't mind. And I won't be naming the comments. I'll just be naming the hollow and we first. So. And I won't do the card trick too, so. Oops. Well, first holo. You mean first we first. Okay. So, the first we first holo is um. You wanna do like this? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> his or her name. I'm sorry. Oh, and hey. we get our first holo. So, I've been watching other people's opening packs too, and I don't think they get much hollow from the X and Y Flash 5 pack so far. So, let's see if I can get the card I want. I'm really hoping to pull Pokemon Fan Club Full Art. I know it's not like an expensive card, but it's just one of the full art that we like. So, let me put the cold card away. Lit Leo. So I know that freaking what's it called Pyro deck has been going on now to just fight for the base again because you know Team Plasma is still going on so it's a pretty good counter deck so Butterfree and yeah Butterfree I don't know it's a very fun deck to make with Mew Tank I guess so if you guys have time just try it out it's not gonna be expensive or Cold card. Sprissy again. Ultra Ball. I hope they we print level ball soon because I know many people is stack is based on level ball. That's why I want Pokemon Fan Club because that once the level ball is out of rotation, I have to use fan club to get my basic to FO to the stage 2, so... But it takes up one supporter, which is a sad part. And, ooh, this is a card I really want to put in my deck. Because the attack is really nice. For two colorless energy, you can get revenge, and 70 more if your Pokemon were a knockout. So, and it's a dragon, so it counter like Black Kyrum and Wickraza, all those strong dragons that are still in the format. This item card is pretty much like a stronger version, I should say. A stronger version of Super Art. It's shuffle back five Pokemon to your discard pile to your deck. It's somehow it's more useful than Super Art because that one says that Super Art cannot shuffle back the special energy and this if you just want to shuffle back Pokemon, this is obviously like a better choice for you. Cold card. So because that I did not grow up in a 
well, first of all, I did not grow up in this country, and second of all, that when I still play Pokemon in the game, like the the Game Boy game, <laughs> that's where I grew up, and back into my country, there's only Japanese version, so people usually just get Japanese version, so I pretty much don't know how to pronounce most of the name, so I hope that you guys don't mind this evil item card again. So. Okay. So more packs. So to be honest, I've been opening a lot of card game booster pack. I start with Yu-Gi-Oh! That's my first card game and then I go to Vanguard because some friend told me to try it out and I got pretty deep into it to make my deck and and that ooh a refresh ultra ball. I like it. I'm gonna <laughs> using my deck. Well I like to make my deck shiny since some Yugo player just like to be a <laughs> show off I guess. So pretty good pull there. And this card somehow I think is weird designing because that I understand that each of your grass type Pokemon gains 20 HP is pretty good. <clears throat> but then this card itself <laughs> is a fairy type. <laughs> so you don't get the bonus. So it's like pretty easy target for like Darkrai or anything like Landorus EX to do like 30, 30 to do to the bench Pokemon and it would die pretty quick. Well, yeah, you have like Mr. Mine or s to like protect it. But then there's like, there's an evil card that just came out in this set called Lysander, that freaking supporter, just like a Pokemon catcher. So I don't know. Uh, I already see some people to play it and it works pretty well if you if you get good hand, so. Yeah, and Fire Torch too, just a very powerful drawing card for Fire type in my opinion, with the Blacksmith, so you can just power up a Charizard, the good one with the 150 attack in one turn basically, and we already see something good there, I'm excited. Ooh. Ooh. So our first EX, Toxicrow EX, In <sighs> so this EX is um, pretty much, in my opinion, it's like one of the EX that is not very useful compared to the Charizard, but I think it's, I think it's an average because the triple poison just put three damage counter is not bad but it's not that great also because it have no it didn't do any damage so and it's weak to psychic so pretty much saying that Mewtwo EX is a big counter to this and the second attack is just not that great for two psychic energy and one colorless to do 80 so yeah I think it's average not that great. I'm really looking for the Charizard EX. That one with 150 attack and the uh, Mega Charizard Y. Because I I would not prefer to discard 5 card from the top to use a heavy attack for the X version. That's why I prefer the Y. Some reason that makes me stop playing Pokemon um, Game Boy game or DS game, whatever you want to call them, is because that I think they are making Pokemon more like Digimon now, if you know what I'm talking about. Just look at this and compare to any other Pokemon, and I think this is <laughs> scaring somehow. So, 
that's why that's one of the points I don't I just don't like Pokemon that much after um, black and white that's like my limit oh so they they really want to do this with the Pokemon Center lady we first and uncommon Ooh, this is the item that I was looking for too, to for the <clears throat> to use it with the Mega Charizard Y. So pre pretty much is saying that after Mega Evolve, they don't have to pay the 50 HP to use the attack, which is so powerful that just knock out almost anything. Well, I think it's anything, even that you have the EX for the Mega Venusaur with the ability that we just talked about because it's weak to fire so and Gujra Gujra so Gujra is um one dragon that because I mainly use dragon deck my first deck is dragon knight and I'm still using that deck so I pretty much is like a dragon fan and when I look at this card out just like it's pretty disappointed I was look the attack is just not that great and the ability just like all right, because they don't want to discard your energy like water and fairy, so it's pretty like a heavy attack, and you have to flip a coin, which is <laughs> very sad in my opinion. Like eighty doesn't really do that much because for like a stage two, and with no effects, like compared to Dragonite, well, you might say only sixty, but it it won't allow you to use item, which is way better than this in my opinion. And this was the card I was talking about, Lysander. That is like basically a Pokemon catcher. It's still powerful even it takes up one of your supporter because some deck like mine, if I can't set up my Dragonite, I pretty much just can't do anything to you. So if I just have like Jatini on my bench and you can just use this and just target it. So that's why I was pretty sad when I see people play this card because I usually lock the item and I use Scarbador to lock the ability so you cannot use like Megaphone and two Scrapper to take off my item so I can keep using my abilities for Garbodor and then when Lysander came out pretty much they can say they can target like anything on my bench that I cannot retreat the next turn so I have to play more carefully when that card came out. Oh. And Ultra Ball. I think one of the best trainer that is so stable, I think, is Ultra Ball. Like, has everyone needed. So, this card is just <laughs> not that great, too. That people say, because I didn't play, um, when I played Pokemon card game, I just started like a few months ago. So. I heard people saying that it's the same card as like the old old set from the way way back and the attack is just not that great at all. So got more packs for you guys. And this. So pretty much just one EX so far on the right hand side. So and we did not pull any four art yet. Oh, Fire Torch we first. So there was this is the combo with Blacksmith. Just once again, very powerful for Fire Type. The draw power just discard Fire Energy, and you can draw two. So saying that if you have this and your Fire Energy at your hand, you just get a free draw, and it's an item, so it won't take up your supporter. And then we have Professor Letter. They can let you search two two basic energy. So if you get another Fire Torch from this one so you can just pop like a five pokemon at one turn now because of the two discard fire energy at your discard pile snorlax i like the art but <laughs> the ability and attack is just very funny somehow mutank again so mutank is just um very fun deck to do with the butterfree that i 
talk about early on because powerful friend lets you do 80 if you have a stage 2 Pokemon on your bench with one energy and 100 HP basic Pokemon with one energy that can do 80 is very strong in my opinion and because of Butterfree you can evo Butterfree in one turn so that's what make Butterfree and Mewtank deck works Cool card. Um, I do not give away. Oh, we see something good too. I do not give away most of the cool card because me and my friend plays online to test out like new deck that we can make. So I'm saving them at the moment. If I if I will open more packs and if I don't need anything anymore, I might be giving out the cool card and starting megaphone. This one <clears throat> is one of the best trainer item card come in this stat also it just destroy many 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 decks that based on item like two drop because it did discard all pokemon too so not like two scrapper so yeah very powerful item so we get lysander so i was hoping for a pokemon fan club but this one still is a good full art so i'll take it and a normal Lysander. <laughs> One thing I'm surprised for this set, uh, I was like, they do not make the monkeys anymore. The wear monkeys, if you know what I'm talking about. Those fire, grass, and water monkey from black and white, I think. Yeah, black and white. Those monkeys are very annoying to pull. They just took up your wear, and they do not do any crap. So I'm pretty happy they do not make mon monkey anymore. Barbarco. So Barbarco is a very interesting card, in my opinion. Um, it's because that it's attack rock rush you can discard as many fighting energy card you like from your hand and this attack does 30 times the number of energy you discard so I saw people I saw someone play this deck already it works somehow but you have to very you have to be super fast paced because you have to make sure that you do not run out of superior energy retrieval before you run out of them and that's the only way you can knock out your opponent by that and two fighting for that attack is just not just very hard to do again because compared to like water and all other colors you can just do DCE for it and water you have like deluge and fire you have um Infernal Fandango, so I'm hoping they mix something like that for fighting type when the Rising Fist booster pack came out and because the Mega Lucario is coming out. I was thinking about to make a deck based on that but when I saw the abilities and attack it, it just wasn't that great. So another holo again. One more pack for the right hand side. Can we pull our EX? I really want the Charizard EX. Not the one with um, Stoke. The one with Wing Attack and Combustion Blast. That one is the one that is really great. That can fire up, um, that can power up with Blacksmith and Fiery Torch. Give you extra card. It's always good to have more card in your hand because you have more options. Looks like this is our wear. I was thinking of though to make a deck rotate around this fish because the ability is just really fun. Oops. 